is, again, this is not my opinion, this is actual fact. We have a problem. When I first met Hugh, uh, I was coming out because I was addressing our court system, the common law. And people don't understand this. Even lawyers are not trained properly in law. So I'm going to give people some incredible knowledge right here, right now. Okay? The word yeah. law stands for three jurisdictions. It stands for land, air, and water. Okay? Common law is the law that is unwritten. This used to be plastered all over our government web pages and any of their attorney general sites. Where did the common law come from? And it is basically, the common law is based on the Ten Commandments. It is the unwritten law. We all know the difference between right and wrong. We all know that when we're born in this world, we are born free. And as you, when you go to my site, it drills down on these things with the Charter and Rights and Freedoms of Canada. Remember, Ontario is a service corporation. No different than a lawn service corporation you hire. Same with Canada. And I'm not being disrespectful, but people don't understand the difference between legal and lawful. So you say, where is a solution, Chris? Well, since I was last here, um, Q, and as you know, I don't run to the internet. I mean, I took four years to put this website up because why? I have a duty to make sure that this is right. I have a duty to all of you, my fellow man and women, that what I'm bringing forward is not my truth. It's all of our truth. And you've been lied to from birth from exactly who you are and what is going on. And it's very simple to understand. I spent another, I think, what was it, an hour and a half or three hours we did of a show the first time. I can explain it to people very simply in 30 seconds. When we were born in a hospital, a corporation was created in our names without our consent. The Queen, the Vatican, Rome, they're the ones that claim that corporation that was created unbeknownst to you and your parents, and they claim that as their property, okay? That property of them, that is what all their codes, rules, and statutes apply to. When something is incorporated, this is why I went back to the law, it stands for land, air, and water. L common law is on the land, that's the Ten Commandments. You say, well, what are lawyers doing legal? That's admiralty law, maritime law, that's out on the sea. When anything is cor incorporated, immediately, it falls under the jurisdiction where? Of the sea. So now you can start to understand that hidden hand, well, wait a second, which I'm going towards here is that, as I said before, all of our public courthouses are compromised. They're corrupt. We are not being recognized as a man or woman when we enter that court. Why? Because it goes back to that birth certificate and the system that was set up a long time ago. Because immediately when something is incorporated, it gets dragged out to the jurisdiction of the sea, and that's where the lawyers have created all their rules, codes, and statutes, and rules of civil procedure. That's how their courts proceed. They're a private society, which I don't belong to. Those rules don't apply to me. That's why it's called a public courthouse and not a private courthouse. So now if you can take a step back and understand the big picture, then how is it that lawyers are representing all these people, our friends and family, when they go into these court systems? Now again, lawyers deal in contract law. That's what it's supposed to be, okay, for the legal world. Administrative, it's admiralty, maritime law, it's contract law. That's what the legal world is. But that jurisdiction is out on the sea. And you're saying, well, wait a second, Chris, we're all walking around on the land here. How are they getting this, getting away with this in our public courthouses? Well, it's very simple. Remember what I just told you? A corporation was created in your name when you were born. Didn't you know that? Well, you did. You got the ID. All of us have got the uh, uh, evidence that we carry around with us. It's called the birth certificate. You did not create that birth certificate. Now, go get it out and look at it. You're going to see every, your name is spelt in all capital letters. You're going to see after your last name, there's a comma. You write a comma between your last name and your first and middle name? No. Then when you flip that over years ago, uh, for people, I'm 53, if you flip it over, you're going to see that there's a red number on the back called a CUSIP number. Again, all of this stuff is addressed powerfully on my website and goes into more detail. But that is the evidence when you look that up. That is a, a CUSIP number is required for any company or corporation to be bought or sold on the stock exchange. The light better be going on right now. They're going, what? Okay, so this is what ultimately Rome, the Vatican, and the monarch did a long time ago as they started to move the system forward. As we started to evolve with, you know, technology and manufacturing jobs in the 30s, they realized they needed to now implement a further system to enslave people. So they created this birth certificate, and that's what you get in the mail a couple of weeks or a month later after you're born. And that has nothing to do with you. That's evidence of identity theft. Because there was an unlawful conversion that occurred, unbeknownst to you, by a service corporation called Ontario, and Canada's in, involved in it, in which they created a corporation, they placed a bond against it, and that is what they're using against you in all these courts. When you walk into the courts, 
That's why you look at all the filings. Just look at the very top of any legal filing. The names are always in capital letters. Why? Because you're dealing with corporations. That's called dog Latin. And this is, this is why Latin got ripped out of our schools, because they don't want people to understand. Many years ago, people used to be able to understand when they looked at writing and the styling of it, what it actually represented. Okay, so when you see anything in all capital letters, that is not the English language, even though you read it as English, how we've all been trained, that is actually referring to a corporation. It's a, it's, it's a fiction, it's a body. So where the solution in all of this is, is over the last four years, I've been fighting in the courts, helping people, and a very big case came through to me. I have multiple huge cases, but one case particularly came to me just back in, October, in August of 2019. Long story short, a farmer and his family had their property stolen from the service corporation. Uh, they've been farming for 30 years, never had a problem, never ran, ran a, you know, um, no bounce checks. Just a wonderful family. They, 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 they take pride in everything they do. They grow peppers, tobacco, a bunch of different things. And they contacted me after their product got stolen as it was on way to being uh, shipped uh, out of the country. First time ever in the last four years that they've been part of the uh, raw leaf tobacco program. And when I became, once I became involved, on top of all my other investigative work, because as I said, I've been dealing with the RCMP, I've been dealing with the OPP, I understand how the fraud is operating in this world. And immediately, fraud was jumping out to me, it didn't make sense. So what ultimately got uncovered, I won't go into it here, it goes into it on my website, is I've uncovered massive fraud with the Service Corporation Ontario that goes right to uh, Doug Downey, who's the man acting as Attorney General, it goes right to Rod Phillips, the man who's acting as Minister of Finance, and right up to Doug Ford. Now, you might think, now, if the media tries to come and attack me, they're going to be toast because I've got all the evidence to prove it. But everybody should also be aware of Brad Blair. Do you know who Brad Blair is, Hugh? Brad Blair is the past commissioner of the OPP. He was the one that's launched, if you might remember last year, a suit against Doug Ford for slander and all this other stuff. But you need to go to a live, I believe it's still online on YouTube. It was a live broadcast, and you've got the time now, people. Go back and listen to the interview that Brad Blair, this is the past commissioner of the OPP, this is the top guy, he held with his lawyer. And he told all of Ontario of massive corruption that's going on within the Ford government, within this service corporation mm -hmm. called Ontario. And this is what I want people to understand is that, you know, I, I said to you the difference between lawful and legal. Legal applies to corporations, anything that's incorporated. Lawful only applies to a man or a woman. And the trick word where they fool everyone is they use the word person. A person has been defined in their society in the legal world as also a corporation. But in law, you're either a man or woman when you enter that courthouse. And no man or woman has jurisdiction over you. You're either